Amband is asking the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to include agency category in addition to individual or corporate categories of cash withdrawal limit policy. It says if individuals have a cash withdrawal limit of 100,000 per day and 500,000 per week, it therefore follows that the agent will serve 20 individuals uh, and they should have 10 million per week to enable the agent adequately serve more individuals among other issues that uh, were raised there. Now, my guest, Fasa C, Sharafa Dinatonda, is a strategic thinker and mass market specialist. He is a CBN certified financial inclusion educator, a bank and mobile agent trainer, a certified digital financial services analyst, a panelist at several financial inclusion fora, including Bill and Melinda Gates' facilitated LBS financial inclusion program. He is an alumnus of the prestigious Lagos Business School. He is also the MD CEO of the Ecosystem Limited and presently the national president of the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, Amben. Many thanks for joining us, Mr. Atonda. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, good morning, Nigeria. Good morning and happy new year to you all. All right, let's just start with the cash uh, scarcity issue before we look at all the um, issues plaguing uh, the financial inclusion system in Nigeria. What exactly is going on right now? CBN is alleging that banks and POS are actually having some sort of connivance and they are responsible for the scarcity of cash in circulation. But however, you mentioned at the briefing last year that there is more to this than meets the eye. Can you just tell us more? Thank you so much. Um, I must um, first of all admit the fact that um, uh, Central Bank of Nigeria is actually going uh, in a good direction. And we commend their efforts uh, of uh, moving Nigeria to uh, a sort of a digital economy and a cashless economy. So, um, to us, we are in total support at Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents in Nigeria to build a country where we can limit the use of cash and um, drive digital transactions so that um, feasibility can be assured uh, and also the issue of security and it can also grow the economy because there will be feasibility to a lot of transactions that were done, you know, by cash before now. So, uh, but as association, uh, with over 1.7 million members across the country, uh, we are on the feet. Uh, we have the understanding on how to implement those policies better. So, uh, and I think um, our experiences are important at this level for CBN, so, so that we will not run the uh, masses of the people into another traumatic experience. Let me start with the issue of the cash. As of today, uh, uh, there is no challenge with the volume of the cash in circulation. The challenge is the distribution of the cash. I mean, of the cash. That is where the problem is. Um, according to CBN, last report, there's about 2.5 trillion Naira cash in circulation. And uh, there, is, there, is a propo uh, there is a policy that CBN is implementing on cashless policy. Uh, they are trying to uh, narrow it to the minimum level, the number of cash in circulation. Uh, while they are doing that, they are encouraging people to to migrate to other alternative channels of transaction. And that is fantastic. But from the implementation point of view, based on experiences, over 50% of Nigerians are residing in the rural areas. And their transaction volume are enormous. And they are done by cash. Why are they done by cash? Because of infrastructure challenge which is network, most of our terrains are not uh, covered. Uh, as we all know that the internet penetration in Nigeria is less than 50%. So um, we cannot do magic in that area. So we need to now reinvent and, and, and innovate. How do we achieve cashless without driving people into crisis? So we can work with the agents 
networks across the country. That is our position. Um, a typical rural agent today is the bank is the bank branch of the whole thousands of uh, population in that community. So, and we have stifled such an agent from accessing cash because CBN, in their own policy of, I mean, distributing cash or rolling out cash, there is no agent category. Uh, we only have individual categories that is uh, limited to 100,000 naira per day and corporate category that is limited to uh, 500,000 naira per day withdrawal limits. We are not saying that economy should be will be turned to cash era, but we are saying that let the CBM come out, involve the stakeholders, that, oh, this is where we are going. We want to journey from point A to point B. What is the volume of cash in circulation today? 2.5 trillion. Let us call that 100%. Am I right? Yeah. Then what is the plan of journey from 100% cash to 60% to 50% and to 10% cash? We must be carried along. All right. We must have the understanding. All right. While we are moving organically towards cashless society, yeah. what are we doing to also stabilize the alternative uh, uh, portal of transactions, mm. which are the uh, QR codes, USSB codes, bank transfers, and all that? All right, you so will agree with me today. All right. Yeah. There are a lot of merchants, mm. petrol stations, supermarkets, even in the city, they are rejecting bank transfer. Mm. I have a video evidence of a particular restaurant in the heart of Lagos, Victoria Island, mm. where they rejected bank transfer for me that anything from cash or card. So we have to, we, people that are rejecting bank transfer, mm. we don't accept QR codes. All right, Faso C, Faso C, because yeah. of time, let's uh, see if we, we, we understand that um, Amban actually wants an agency category that has been established by you right now and also in the, um, the press conference that you addressed um, sometime last week. But I want you to elucidate more on this issue of a mandatory use of BVN and or NIN for tier one wallets and account. You are welcoming the development, but then you have some concerns specifically as regards uh, uh, linkages because Ordinarily, most people have um, NIN. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, I said CBN will commend them for that policy. It's for the safety of our payment system in Nigeria. And we, we, we totally support it. Uh, at the same time, based on our own experiences on the feed, we feel that um, um, enforcing, number one, the law uh, the regulation uh, is targeting a different stakeholder entirely. The, the regulation should not be targeted at the customer, the innocent customers, to come and be regularizing their KYC. Because they already have those KYC, NIN or BBN. Every account holder in Nigeria, whether it's wallet system holder or if they are one account, they have all these NIN or BBN sitting with an agency of the government because they have been forced, they have been mandated to link their NIN with their SIM card. And all of them use a phone number to open an account. So why are we still dragging them to come and regularize? Why not bank direct that instruction to the banks and providers to reach out to the NIN? These are the list of the customers that are not having their NIN attached to their account. There is everything is digitalized in Nigeria today. They can they can do what we call API call and start calling the NIMC database and link it without troubling the masses of the people. That is our own idea. Number two is that we want every new account to also carry BBR and name. That means we want more enrollment. We want to push more enrollment on name and BBR. But do we have that capacity today? There is nowhere you can capture new NIN today apart from the government uh, NIMC offices. What's their capacity? To, to, because we are going, before now, agent locations across the country have been involved in NIN enrollment, and they have been able 
to move the number of NIN from 45 million recorded in 10 years to above 100 million within the space of two years. These same agents were being held by NIMT for two years. They have not paid them. And last year, August, they suspended all, all activities in the agent location. So there is no access point for Nigerians to enroll today. That means they are not ready. So why are we, you know, it will be difficult for people to access it. Mm. Also, the policy is also looking at uh, tier two, tier three, high volume accounts. True. Should now be linked to both BBN and NIN. Nine, yes. And technologically, before you can link the two, eh, they must have the same data. Mm. But uh, today, there are a lot of variances, discrepancy between the phone number, the date of birth, and all these things on NI and BBN. Yeah. What you need to do, the service you need to bring them to par, is what we call modification. Mm. And that service is not available anywhere outside there, the reach of the people. It's only with the government agency, which mm. is NIMC. Mm. So these are the challenges people will face right. if this policy starts without CBN, I mean, advising NIMC to reactivate all the agent locations to, to enroll and pay them the outstanding. Mm. Okay. Because they are also holding NISA Microfinance Bank and mm. all banks in Nigeria. All right. So they need to pay them, then they can start. The same thing with BBN. All right. Fasa, see, uh, yes, as we begin to round off right now, let's talk about deposit challenges. Because right now, there is the issue of 3% um, charge and um, that of um, trust issue. Because lately, there's been um, talk of um, post no debit and post no credit and all of that. Quickly, in a minute, I just want you to just um, sum your thoughts on that. Thank you very much. The current leadership of Central Bank of Nigeria just as the office, and uh, they need to know that they need to undo a lot of policies that were inflicted on Nigeria uh, on Nigeria last year, December, during the former government era. Uh, part of it, because I, I must I must confess to you, a lot of that has created trust issues and discourage businesses from bringing their money to the bank. That is why most of the banks on their books today, they are not getting deposits. People would rather keep their money in their houses than to bring it to where their accounts have been locked. A lot of accounts were PND, post no debit, and they were locked during that period for the fact that they deposited above the threshold stipulated by policy there. Now that the policy is off, they know no more three percent charge again, then you need to go and lock, instruct the bank. Don't forget those, they are forgotten those I mean, accounts. They need to, you know, to really unfreeze those accounts and to, to engage us so that we can turn all the members of the agents to change agents across the local communities of the country, so that we can tell people that we now have new sheriff in town, leadership of CBN, that they should bring their money back to the bank and to the financial system. So we need a lot of financial literacy, I mean, you know, engagement to ensure that people trust our banking system again and again. All right, uh, on a final note now, I remember you talked about uh, this should actually excite Nigeria, and you talked about creating 500,000 uh, jobs in the first quarter of this year. How do you um, go about that um, very quickly in just about a minute so we round off this um, conversation? Yeah, fantastic. Um, a country that is developing Nigeria, yeah, like Nigeria, shouldn't ask no, ask no justification to say that they are beyond employment. Because there are more things to be done. But our policies are throwing people out of jobs. Imagine, uh, you know, over thousands of NIN agents that we engage that have been sacked, that have been disabled across Nigeria from enrollment. You know, you have pushed a lot of people out of jobs. So BVN account opening, you have pushed a lot of people out of jobs. We are now appealing to the Central Bank of Nigeria and uh, the President uh, Bola Amen Tinubu, that as a of mobile money and bank region in Nigeria, we are ready to contribute about 500,000 jobs in Q1 if we are enabled. Mm -hmm. What are those eligibility? Return the enrollment services back to agent location and pay their outstandings. Number two, BVN enrollment. Let us also be enabled to argue it for masses of the people across the country. So we are, we are, we are preparing to have 100,000, 100,000 agents, enrollment agents, per local government in Nigeria. All right, Fasasi. For NIN, for BVN, 
for all categories of enrollment. All right, Pastor thank C, uh, thank you so much. We are completely out of time. I guess we'd have to bring you back on the show because there are salient issues to discuss as regards some um, the financial inclusion policy of the federal government. My guest has been Pastor C. Sharafa Dean uh, at Onda. He's a national president of AMBA, the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria. Many thanks for being a part of the show for this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. And that's the size of um, the show for the, today. That is uh, Business Insight will return again to your screen same time. Bye for now. I am Justin Akadonye. <laughs>